Last week, we had 147,369 initial unemployment claims. That means we've had 306,143 unemployment claims in the past three weeks. Next week, we will launch the Federal Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, which will boost weekly payments to those who have filed for unemployment. This is an additional $600 a week, which should be a great help to folks trying to figure out how to pay the rent or buy food. This program allows us to provide unemployment assistance to people who didn't previously qualify, such as gig workers, temporary workers, and self-employed people. I'm proposing an amendment to the state budget that would give the Department of Corrections authority to release offenders who have one year or less left in their sentences. They must have demonstrated good behavior and not be a threat to public safety. The DOC, at their discretion, will release prisoners who do not pose a threat to society or the safety of others. The General Assembly will vote on this when they return for the reconvened session on April the 22nd. Here in Richmond, the Canterbury Nursing Home is tragically dealing with one of the largest concentrations of deaths in a long-term care facility in our country. The people who live in long-term care facilities are already vulnerable to sickness. And now, because of social distancing, they can't even see their loved ones. But these are our parents and grandparents. We have a special obligation to protect them. Now, I've had some folks call me and say, Ralph, we see that the curves are flattening. Isn't it time to ease the restrictions? And that is absolutely the wrong thing to do right now. 